Okay, in this lecture, we are uh, going to draw, create and draw beam. So to do it, go to plan, where we'll uh, delete our unnecessary column. Okay, now where we'll draw beam. Okay, so um, in our ground floor, first of all, we'll draw beam. To do it after selecting ground floor we'll go here beams and here you will get some option as a section is still timber rcc same as previous rcc and our a default beam section is given here to change it or to defend the section i'll go here then from here rcc beam okay section type rcc beam then our materials concrete let's say 3.5 ksi concrete then we'll go here level okay we'll not change any level right now so what if the width of our beam from here you'll be able to um, set your required size or you'll be able to uh, provide your required shape of a structure uh, here 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 as per your requirement so i'm taking rectangular section what will be the width of our beam i will take the take width of our beam is 10 and our depth of the beam will be let's say 15 inch you can see here our level have been created automatically i will change its name let's say gf or sorry gb ground uh, grade beam okay let's say grade beam one okay then click add then we'll create another size for let's say 10 into 18 and the second time it will not change automatically because we have changed it or we have changed it manually that's why we have to provide here 18 and it will be zv2 okay and click add then we'll create floor beam one let's say it will be uh, sorry 10 15 then click add so close and if you see rcc beam and here in the beam section you'll see your defined beam section okay. now select which beam you want to use to draw let's say first of all i'll go for zb1 so for zb1 from where to where you want to draw simply click that point to that point see our beam have been created again click here to here and click here to here okay it's very simple to draw our beam then In this way you can create your beam easily okay now let's say in this this direction i'll change for zv2 yep and if you use the drag option it will continue see it will stay continue we skip sorry control z again again come here sorry again click here and take drag this point to this point when you will need to create continuous beam then you can use this option then click here and see it's remote again click here 
then click here and if also if you want to continue simply click here it will start like that sorry control z control z again come here click on this space click here click here and drag option will be checked click here and then click here see done now close and go to view if you come here you will see our section is perfectly okay our section is perfectly okay so in this way we are okay let's go to plan view go to gf and from here deleter unnecessary section see so in this way we are able to create our beam now sometimes we need to change our beam size or uh, sometimes we need to good gf sorry gf so sometimes we need to change our alignment of the beam okay uh to do it i'll go here now member number so here's the number of member and they have option like okay uh if we go here edit they have some option to rotate it axial symmetry then correction then okay actually this option should be available here but now it's okay if we go to view if we go to view and uh extremely sorry go to plan and here we have to go properties we have to go to properties then we'll get this this option here actually many option will be available here so and here i will see the beam number or member number now from our property tab let's say we have a beam size of 21 or we have a beam size of uh, let's say 36 and we want to change its alignment or axis okay so how we'll do it to do it just click gamma angle click here for gamma angle and in gamma angle we'll change it so how i'll do it uh here we'll provide the member number let's say 36 and if you want to do for multiple member then uh, provide let's say 36 and 40 provide comma 40 so two member have been selected and uh, give her the angle okay let's say we'll rotate this angle for 90 degree and click apply you'll see these two angles uh, two beam change its orientation so if we go in view if we go in view then if you see this beam and also this beam it's changed its size so this this is the alignment of this beam and this is the alignment of this beam and this is the alignment of this beam so i think in this way you will be able to change it and again if you give here I click here you see beam number so see beam 36 and 40 and if we give 36 comma 40 two beam have been selected and just give it zero degree then apply it's moved again so in this way you are able to change your size 
you are able to change uh you are able to change the size and shape of this member or you are able to rotate that member perfectly so thank you thank you very much still stay connected till next lecture